Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the point of sale system step by step tutorial. Today is a first day. First, you have to install the exam server in your local machine. I hope you already learned this stuff how to install the exam server. After install the exam server, you have to install the PHP Strom. Uh, PHP Strom editor. Uh, I recommend that PHP Strom is a best editor for writing the PHP codes. Otherwise, you can. Uh, uh, there are many editors available. You can use uh, as your wish. Uh, after install these two things, go to the. I installed the exam server in my C drive. Here, this is the folder exam exam this is a folder you just double click and open it here inside the exam server folder you have to find the folder which name is htdoc here double click and open it I, I have developed many project over here here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another folder here a new folder here here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the folder name, name as jpos this is the name of the project uh, jpos jpos here double click this is the j inside the j, j post folder i'm going to create my project folders first one is i'm going to create as page pages another one is I'm going to here PHP another folder I'm going to name it as PHP after that the component just go to the C drive and J pos this one okay here just I paste this folder here what is the meaning of the component folder is here i have downloaded the bootstrap and jquery the all the components i have downloaded and put into one folder which is a component folder this is easy for me to uh, complete the project here otherwise you can go to the bootstrap website and you can download these components i have already downloaded this one bootstrap and uh, jquery and jquery confirm master and jquery validate me all the things i have downloaded and put into this component folder this is very easy for me after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the php strong here search php strong Once you install in your machine, PHP Chrome is opening look like this. After open the PHP Chrome, here go to the file and open directory. Here you have to open the your your project folder inside the htdoc. This is a htdoc. You have inside the HG doc you have to open your folder your folder name is jpos you have to find the jpos jpos folder here this one will be the jpos uh, folder this is your project folder you just select and click ok and this window click here this it will be open it successfully look like this here this is the, all the components is there this one with the pages this one for the php files select the pages folder and right click and new file the first page i'm going to create as index.php click ok after that again select pages new file i'm going to create another page category dot php hit ok button now 
I have created two pages. One is index.php, another page is category.php. First, I am going to design the page as category page. First, I am going to write HTML tag, HTML. Inside the HTML tags, I'm going to create another tag, head tag. After created the head tag, under that tag, I'm going to create the tag body. I have successfully written these tags. First open the HTML, it should close. Head also, you if you open the head tag, you should close body if you open body also you should close this is one with the this is the basic structure of the html after that uh, inside the add tag i am going to style the bootstrap css so here this is the, the all the components are available the components folder inside the component folder there is a bootstrap bootstrap folder uh, inside the bootstrap folder this is the another folder inside this in, a, in this inside this folder there's a folder which name is css you just click, click this one expand it here you can find the bootstrap min dot css and bootstrap css you have to link them so first link you have to start link uh, href here here your page is inside the pages folder here this is the uh, page your page is category.php now you have to access the this components folder so here double dot slash now you can get the component folder over here this is a component folder and inside the component folder you have to get the bootstrap folder inside the bootstrap folder there is another folder which is d this one so here d i s t here slash after that css folder here the css folder you have to get the bootstrap min dot css first css this one that's it after that folder then relation relation will be style sheet that's it you successfully style the uh, bootstrap min.css the same thing you have to do at uh, this one also as well bootstrap css as well so i now need to again i am going to root it you just copy this one and paste here Con control v and paste here paste it here instead of Here this one instead of uh, this one will be i have the uh, give you the name is here bootstrap dot min dot css here this one will be bootstrap dot css that's it you have to style this these, these things both well now i'm going to again this one also i need to get the css file jquery conform master this one also we needed so here what I'm going to do is it is a component folder. This one I needed. So easily link href component folder. You have to access the component folder first. Component folder inside the component folder. You have to find the folder which is a separate folder. This one is the separate folder. jQuery. jQuery conform master. Inside the jQuery conform master, there will be the CSS file also there, the CSS folder. Inside the CSS folder, you have to access the uh, jQuery conform.css file. That's it. After that, relation will be style sheet. Now, we successfully link the CSS part. After that, I am going to link the jQuery part. So, inside the body tag, I'm going to write script src here component inside the component folder 
first here this one will be the jquery here jquery jquery folder jquery this one d this folder inside this folder i'm going to get this jquery.js jquery.js this uh, file will be masked after that script src the same thing component component folder there will be the file jquery validate uh, dot min dot js this one will be masked this also masked so here easily you have to get this one inside the component folder you can get this file that's it after that you have to get the bootstrap JSO as well this bootstrap JSO you have to get it so again I will go here script src components bootstrap sorry bootstrap this one not this bootstrap d js bootstrap uh, di this one this folder js here you have to get the bootstrap js min.js file this also needed then another one is the same thing and copy control c and control v the same again you have to get this one inside this folder bootstrap.js here this folder you have to get it yes okay the all the things are masked after that you have to link the jquery confirm master this one you have to confirm master you have to get that and uh, jquery also as well so here also script src component jquery master inside the jquery master folder you have to get it there this file js folder you have to get it as jquery confirm.js this is other file very important for link them both uh, style sheet as well as jquery i hope you guys you have understood so far if you have any doubt you can ask me any any time uh, i will uh, explain the rest of the far, far, uh, part in my next tutorial thank you for watching